Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. And we're back with another campaign, long awaited. So we are on campaign three. This one is called the Jopa Incident. The Jopa Incident. Very exciting. So this takes place in the deep periphery, as you will find out soon enough. A dropship full of mysterious cargo has crash landed on the moon of Jopa, called Jopa 4. What do you, what do you think is in it? Geez, <laughs> I don't know. It is it is the early 3040s, Tom. I will drop I'm that guess, spoiler. Uh, I'm guessing that it is contraband caviar. It fits. Could, ha could be. The dropship um, could be full of caviar. Take bets now. Or something else. I don't know. Something else possibly to advance the timeline. Yeah. No spoilers. So. Oh, we're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> caviar really advances the timeline here. It's lost tech. Yeah, lost tech. Lost tech caviar. All the sturgeon are dead in this one. <laughs> so... Here's the deal. Uh, we got the armed forces of the Federated Sons, but they're they're embroiled in all sorts of stuff right now. So they're sending the twelfth, the twelfth. Yes, just say it. Just say it. The twelfth vegan rangers. rangers. They're not vegans. They're it's definitely 12, vegans. They're twelve vegan rangers. Uh, they're they are they are here. They're <laughs> spell, it's even spelled the same, which is like tragic. It's tragic. Well, but, you have to remember though this uh, this unit was invented before. <laughs> <laughs> like quinoa burgers and all that Wait, nonsense. It's in the future, though. <laughs> well, yeah. Is this like a Terminator, like time travel thing? <laughs> Somebody went back. They in came time back and they just like dropped and they off added like the... an Impossible Burger. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so they're here. Yeah, no, that's my guys. Um, I'm the vegans. Yeah, it's a brand new army on the channel. Uh, just brand new fresh, paint job. Brand new paint. We're paint job. Freshly painted. Uh, finished them last night. Uh, so we're pretty excited about it. So, um, what do we got? We've got an intercept mission. Yeah. Uh, so this is, we just recently did on the attacker. And you're the attacker, right? So we're dropping six objectives on the board. Tom and I take turns placing them. Um, we pick for, well, actually I'm the defender, so I place first. Uh, and I, I pick side, I place, I deploy first, and then you go, right? And then, yeah. then we play. Um, if you hold the objective, so we roll randomly, right? An objective goes hot. If it goes hot, you hold it for two turns, you get points, right? Yeah. So it's that mission. You can um, test it, that whole thing. Yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with our missions, you can go to www.dfawargaming.com backslash downloads. You can download our campaign system and our mission pack, so definitely check that Patent out. Patent pending. Patent pending. Uh, so other, other important notes. Rainy, foggy, so we're going to have some limited visibility. Now uh, I rolled on Kevin's random table, so... Mm. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to be we're going to have limited visibility. So twenty inches. Anything beyond, okay. beyond twenty inches does take a plus one penalty, but that's it. Um, and we are going to play a little bit differently tonight. So because we're playing the campaign, uh, it's sort of like kind of double blind, but not completely double blind. Right, so we have to declare. We have to figure out our forces. We have to declare our forces ahead of time, right? It's a pool of ten mechs. I could probably figure out what he has anyway by running certain numbers because we know what the BB value is going into the match. Partially a computer. Right. I built a, a special like a, a <laughs> special uh, algorithm that yeah. will, that will glean a machine learning algorithm that will tell me what mechs you're going to select. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the mechs that we're bringing to the table. However, when we play, we're still going to use the radar blips, yeah. but they're not going to be classed by size. They're just going to be generic radar oh, blips. Okay. And that way I don't know which mech is which, but yeah. I generally In know In the case where you have like a yeah, assault. Mine. Right. So they'll all be, basically all the blips will look alike. Okay. Um, and that way, you know, you won't know if it's my Locust that's on the flank or my Battlemaster. Speaking of which. You have my consent. Yeah. What did, what did we bring? So let me start. Sure. All right. If you don't mind, would you like to start? I know no, you're no. excited. Okay. I know you're excited about the uh, quinoa rangers. I mean, vegan rangers. <laughs> okay, so so we got we got the forces um, declared, right? Yes. So let's talk about let's tell our let's tell our subscribers what's in here. So first off, I do want to say the twelve vegan rangers were recommended uh, by one of our supporter subscribers, Tropic Fox. So congratulations, thank Tropic you, Fox. sir. And he was kind enough to tell me that his named canon character for the Kickstarter. Ooh. Is going to be a twelfth vegan is he ranger. A con? 
Did he come in at the con level? Is that what gets I, you in I, that character? I, I, I don't know. I actually don't know what, what I think, what is it? Uh, Star Commander or Higher Edition. Oh, really? Right? Okay. Something like that. Star Captain, maybe? There's I don't even know. There's going to be a whole know. lot of new canon characters. It's going to be, there's going to be so many. Uh, but he recommended not only the Rangers, but also said it would be cool if we used his character. So he is the... Well, guess what? Guess what? <laughs> guess what, folks? <laughs> you got your... So, so thanks, wish. Fox. Uh, this guy, this one's for you. So he's... he's the, Nightwolf is the name of this character. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my lance is headed up by Nightwolf in the Battlemaster. Mm, it's a good uh, one. So, yeah, so he's got the best piloting. The, uh, he's a 2-4. The rest of my pilots are 3-4s. And I have a, a Vindicator next up. Little, yeah. He's modified, I believe. Uh, yeah. You know, it took a little, did a little work. Uh, and then the Jenner, and then a Commando. Now, the Jenner is what? The, 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 the Jerry, F? The, the one with all the medium lasers that you yeah, love. Yeah, the best one. He's, again, another user-recommended uh, mech. Oh, yeah, you know? from way back when. And, mm. It's expensive, but it's so it's just so hard to kill. It's hard. I mean, it's, in, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, Jenner. Yeah. I'm a Jenner man. Jenner, Jenner boy. Boys. Yeah. I'm a Jenner boy. I'm not doing it again. You're doing it again. Uh, so, <laughs> so, what do oh, I have? Again. So, I am playing a mixed force of both Death Commandos <clears throat> and... Capellan Chargers. So the Capellan, lone Capellan Charger, uh, Flechette in her dragon was out on reconnaissance scouting Flechette. your landing zone, right? Mm. Three gleaming black mechs show up, the Death Commandos. Does she know they're coming? Does not know. Ooh. Secretly sent by the Chancellor, and they just take over. Does she feel undercut by this? A little bit. A little bit so there's a little bit of animosity, you know? Mm. Because the Death Commandos are kind of like... Everyone's like, oh god, you know, yeah. they get special treatment, they get they get to the front of the line in the cafeteria, right? you know, all yeah. this stuff, right? They got better pensions, it's just not fair. They get two mechs per guy. Did you know that? It's oh, in like, in like reality they do? <laughs> yes! <Wow. laughs> they are seriously elite then. Yeah, real elite. Are you Be prepared? Good. Dude, I'm ready for this. Are you prepared, Tom? Mm, I don't know, the, I, I have PPCs for once, I feel good about that. Uh -huh. Um, I think back to the PAX Unplugged game we played. Uh -huh. uh, we didn't video that, did we? We, we did not. I took some pictures. I posted some pictures on Facebook. Um, but yeah, so PBCs are just devastating. So Lots of PBCs, I'm hoping to yeah. turn the tables. We'll see. Well, you know, so actually I didn't even say, on top of the dragon. Oh yeah, I've yeah got, who do you I've, have? I've yeah. got a locust uh, packing three medium lasers. It's like my mini Jenner. Okay. All right. Yeah. I've got an enforcer. It's been modified. Um, the pay less of Jenners. Yeah. <laughs> the pay less of the locusts, the pay less of Jenners. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got, a, I've got a, a griffin that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty solid. I'm I pretty do like excited about it. After yeah. doing the battleitics on them, I was, I was Yeah, they're tough, you know, so we'll see what happens. Now, the, all the death commandos are 2-4 are pilots. So, 2 yeah. gunnery, 4 piloting. My dragon, everybody else in the in the, um, the campaign force is a, is a three. So, man, so, so. just curious because we were doing all that battleitics work. Did you um, consider, you know, their sensitivity to piloting changes? When I, you picked I did. The max or you didn't? Okay. I, I honestly, I didn't. So you didn't um, min max. I, I didn't min max. Okay. I wanted to go you a little off the trap. I was, I was trying to trap you. Yeah, I mean, like you know, if it was like a tournament, maybe I would have done <laughs> that. Um, but it is, it is not. So I wanted yeah. to go fluff, and I wanted to make the Death Commandos all the best pilots. Yeah. And when I was looking through my max of like what was unpainted. There were a few I had in mind that are sort of Capellan in nature. Okay. Um, the other Death Commando, which you'll see, it's not, it's not here tonight, but on World is a Charger. Um, but not the one with all the small lasers. It's the you know it's a modified 185 which has an AC20, but I think mm. I downgraded it and did some other stuff. It's pretty exciting. So lots of cool stuff to come. I got I got a special whoop -a, whoop -a coming. And you got the hatches. Just wait. We got oh, some wait wait. Well, yeah. they're gonna see it in about oh. three seconds when I when the animation comes up oh. and tells them all the mechs. So you know. Okay. Well, I'm very excited. Beyond having a Jenner, I'm also a hatchet boy, and uh, <laughs> I love the hatchet man mech. Good, Good luck, sir. Yeah. Guys. Thanks for sticking around for the banter. The game is coming right up. Let's take a look at the map. See you in five. Forward one to base. I'm picking up an inbound enemy lance. Returning to Nav Alpha. Negative, forward one. Hold your position. Reinforcements are on route. Base, confirm orders. Confirm for ship. Shuttle lock is inbound. It is the death command.
4. Very nice little terrestrial planet here, a colony with some outposts and whatnot, factories around the, uh, the biome. So what you'll notice, a couple things here, Tom and I have placed six objective markers uh, in yellow. Now, starting on turn two, we will roll randomly 1d6, each of the objective numbers uh, is printed right there on the objective, so you can see that's one, right, that's three. Uh, and uh, one of our subscribers, Ash, you can get these on eBay uh, from a dude named Perkle, P-Y-R-K-O-L, something like that. If you look them up on eBay, he should still be selling these. Uh, pretty cool. So we placed our six objective markers, and we're ready to go. So starting uh, on turn one, I am the defender. It means I had the advantage of picking my table edge. I picked that uh, far table edge over there. And so I'll be uh, controlling the high ground at least early on in this match. And then I'll just move right on to the table uh, from my edge. And then we'll get this thing rolling. So, Tom, are you prepared, sir? Loins are girded. Loins are girded. girded. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, here we go. Turn one is complete. So there's going to be no shooting quite yet. Uh, light rain fog permeating the battlefield. We've got our radar blips flickering on the radar screen. So what did I do? Um, not much. Not much. <laughs> I mean, despite my, oh, despite my, uh, you know, my, my instincts, I did spread my forces here. I've got one really far here on the left flank. That was your first mistake. <laughs> your first mistake <laughs> and your last. Uh, I do have another mech up here, way up on this ridge, overlooking, commanding view of the battlefield. Uh, so Tom, how you Hold feeling? On. I'm feeling good, man. I also realized, you know, Nightwolf. I got my wolf shirt. Dude, it was it was absolutely scripted. It was scripted. Uh, but yeah, so I, I actually kept my guys, contrary to my like best judgment, when I usually am the one that fans my guys out. They're all kind of clustered in the city. All they're right. urban. They're urban folk. They like their coffee shops. They like their lack of parking. You well, know. you know, if you <laughs> if you do if you do read Sarna, it does say that the twelfth Vegan Rangers are masters of urban assault. Yeah. So, Ooh, oh, perfect. I mean, I knew that. Yes. <laughs> All right, so no shooting yet. I do think something might be in range next turn, so we're going on to turn two. Stay tuned. Vegan Rangers making their way through the shattered city where an airstrike occurred earlier from their dropship, just bombarding poor Capellan, innocent Capellan scout forces. So let's talk about what happened on this battle grid. Um, I lost initiative, rolled snake eyes, so this mech here kind of moved along the flank, um, the other one on the other side of the forest, keeping the central mech on the bridge in case objective three goes hot, and speaking of which, there it is, number five went hot this turn, very favorable for those sneaky capellans, so I am moving a mech uh, to secure that objective, but not quite there yet, Tom, so that's it. Tell me what you have going on with the Vegan Rangers. So, um, my plant boys, they're green, by the way, so it fits. <laughs> it fits. They, um, yeah, they just keep, you know, moving up. I'm taking some cover. I'm waiting to see some more activation of the uh, objectives, but, uh, you know, kind of fanning them out slightly. And then uh, I'm taking some pot shots. Did we talk about shooting yet? We have not. Okay. You want me to? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. What do you got cooking? Yeah, so I'm going to fire up the hill, just take some pot shots at him, extreme range, and then my, my two guys over here, one's firing straight across and one's firing up into the bridge. Uh, the guy on the bridge will get some head and uh, sh uh, left arm, I think. Head I and shoulder coverage. Head and shoulders <laughs> coverage, yeah. He's been using the shampoo, it's not working. Yeah. Um, okay, well, yeah, well, I'm just going to, we're going to roll right into my shooting since I lost initiative. Um, and I've got this mech up on the hill here firing down uh, on that mech there. So I need tens across the board. Uh, remember, we've got the light fog and the rain happening. So we've got a little bit of a difficult shot here. So we're gonna start out, let me find a nice flat place to roll. I need tens, I'm gonna be chain firing PPC first. Uh, okay, this is not going good, Tom. LRM5 next. It's to be expected for the first round of shooting. It is true, it is true. All right, so next up, um, I have 
this mech here lobbing just a meager LRM-5 uh, through that mech there and cover that right arm is completely obscured by the building. So here we go. Also need 10. So Ooh. close. Ooh. Explodes off the building. Wow. Bricks everywhere. Does the, does the building collapse onto my mech? How many sub-basements He's like fall into? <laughs> All right, so we'll be right back with the Vegan Rangers. Okay, first up for my Rangers, uh, I have this mech down here shooting up the hill. He needs 11. So this is a hard shot with an LRM-5. Yeah, we're just firing at ghosts right now. Mm, nothing. So down goes the LRM. Next up will be uh, mech number four. Which was uh, hit, who was the one just got LRM? Oh, uh, yeah, this guy. He's going to fire back with an LRM salvo and a PPC of his own. For tens. All right, it's tens. Your group, your group in it. <coughs> Ooh. I should have reminded them, folks. I should have reminded them, folks. I'm gonna chain, I, I started chain firing at the packs, and uh, I think I'll try again. All I'll right. Try. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a bad experience. We're looking for tens. Here we go. I okay. shouldn't have said anything. So I get the PPC shot off, and then here's my LRM. Nothing. Nothing. Snake eyes. All right. Okay. Still. PPC That's a good shot. screaming yeah. in through the smoke um, and the fog and the rain. And I think he doesn't get any coverage. He has no cover. Whoa! Foot critical! <laughs> Headshot. That is a critical hit, though, because uh, 10 damage goes right through the external armor. Oh, you could oh, kill gosh. right now. Why don't you roll this on, on camera here? This is for the critical confirmation? This is critical confirmation. Nothing. So just 10 damage to the head. Ooh, I almost one shot at a mech. <laughs> Don't gloat, Tom. I'm Don't not, gloat. No, I'm like the I'm death almost, commandos are coming for you. I was so. slightly depressed when I did that. So. Um, all right, well that's a that's a brutal headshot to okay. open up the game. Do you have more shooting? I got one more shot. Yeah, I, I don't think that's allowed. Yeah, do you do you want me to finish? Or? <laughs> okay. Do just not as long as it's targeting a different mech. I can't risk uh, a different mech. First yeah. turn kill. So this is the uh, mech behind <laughs> the factory building. Got it. Shooting up onto the bridge. And again, he has he has line of sight coverage to his head and his uh, left arm. Oh, good. So you can't headshot this one. No, right. I cannot. And I need um, nines on this mech, cause just because. Just because. All just right. because he's a good he's a good mech. And he gets it. Oh boy. So that was an LRM ten, I think. Uh, LRM ten. Okay, so okay. I gotta roll. Oh, just one. I can't believe it. I can't I can't it. Unbelievable. Well, thankfully, a headshot, but it goes nowhere. That head is in cover, and per the uh, you know the rules in strategic ops, right? So that's what we're using. That location is covered, so the missiles slam into the bulkhead of the bridge. <sighs> Tom, terrifying, terrifying round. Tell us how you feel right now. I'm so sad. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Turn three, things are getting intense here. So Tom, you got a little bit of luck on your side to offset my luck. So objective one here went hot squarely back in the Rangers territory. Yeah. Um, some mechs Whatever are revealed. Mech yeah, I, we're not sure yet. Three or four of your mechs are revealed. So yeah. this, this guy's still a mystery. Um, Math isn't my strongest. But we do have the Vindicator revealed there. The Jenner revealed there just below the destroyed bridge. The Commando lurking on the edge of the woods, looking up at that unidentified mech on the hill that's now contesting uh, the objective for the Capellans. Mm. I still have two more mechs, so three total that are unidentified, but in the central bridge, my enforcer, Death Commando, revealed. revealed. So we're going to get right into shooting. Tom, you're going to kick us off? Yeah, so um, this guy, whoever that mysterious creature is, has <laughs> stood still because he's in range of that objective. Yes. Um, and then I moved him up because you drew back a little bit. Um, he walked up slightly and he got into cover as much as he could. So in terms of shooting, uh, they're all going to fire at the uh, revealed boy. Oh, shoot. Everybody's going for the enforcer, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't really have great shots otherwise. So. Okay. Where do you want to start? Oh, sure. I'll start shooting. Um, so I'll start with the uh, the commando, like I did last time. Okay. So the commando's got his LRM. Uh, he needs eights to hit up there. And again, there might be some cover if I do hit. All right. Um, I don't actually can, look. We can check that, of but course. Eights. Not happening. All right. Uh, next up would be the uh, Vindicator. So the Vindicator's out in front. The Vindicator needs eights and nines. He's got medium and long. Um, 
And I guess I will chain fire. All right, so what is it, eight on the LRM? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's in uh, medium, so eight. Got it. Got it. Okay, there's an eight, so I will, um, it's an LRM 10. Choose one again. All right, so that is a left arm. And should be. That, yeah, that looks fine. Looks okay. good cover wise. All right, and then you got the PPC, needs yep. a nine to hit you. A said. nine, yep. All right, here we go. Close. No cigar. So only one on there. And then last but not least, the Battlemaster also has an LRM 10 and a P. Well, whoops. I think we knew. Yeah, I think we all knew. I think we knew. So, <laughs> same thing, large. <laughs> he's at long and extreme. Okay. So he needs a sevens and eights because he's um, a lower. Yes, he is, he is much so snazzier of a pilot. Yeah, I'll do the same. So the long needs a seven. That's yes. a hit. Sorry, love tree. It. Love the new trees, by the this way. Place. Oh, thank you. All right, so one still again. one cluster. All okay. right, and that is left torso. Left torso. Um, what we can check and make sure, but I think that'll be fine. And then I need uh, eights on this. Get it. Nice. Thank God I did that. Battlemaster pulling through here, and that Three. is right arm. All right, so uh, the Capellan Chargers and the Death Commandos, they are gonna strike back here at these wonderfully painted Vacant Rangers. Uh, so I'm gonna start with this blip here, firing under the bridge at this mech here, at this Jenner. Mm. Um, now the Jenner does have some cover, um, but I do need a nine to hit with these long range missiles. Here we go. That's a mess. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna move right into uh, my friend, the Enforcer. Uh, so he's turning, he's going to pick on that commando. That commando did not move very fast. I'm feeling good about it. I'm right at 20 inches, which is extreme range for both the AC-10 and the large laser. So I'm going to need eights on this guy. He's a little bit of a better pilot. Um, and also, we, we drop now that fog bonus, or the fog penalty, I should say, because he is That's right. you know, within 20 inches. So I need eights to hit. I'm going for, first of all, I should get the right dice there. That's better. Uh, I'm going for, I think, a group fire here, Tom. I'm feeling, I'm feeling sassy. I feel like that's what a death commando would do. All right, here we go. That's what a death commando would do. All right, so that's 18 points of damage coming into that commando. This could hurt. Sweet retribution. So right arm and right torso. Okay. Well, good news for the death Bad commandos. News. Uh, news. Excellent crack shot here. So this mech up on the hill lays down fire, but too late. Torso ripping through that commando's left torso. I rolled a 12 on the critical hits. And you only had three. Uh, you only had three in there, One so was that mech is sky high. So we're going to go to the damage report. Turn three damage report. Just a couple of turns of missing, and then kabam on the 12th Vagan Ranger side. Commando moves a little bit too slow, and Phantom in his enforcer just puts that mech out of its misery, drilling in through the right torso. Hitting an ammo bin, that mech is toast. On the Capellan side, uh, nothing too telling this turn. However, the Vagan Rangers opening up with a vicious through armor headshot to Flechette in her dragon, and that Enforcer taking a little bit of damage, paying the price for that horrible, horrible fate it delivered to that poor commando. Turn four, action. All mechs are revealed on the table. The Battlemaster, the Locust, up here on the hill, a Griffin. The so, action is heating up. It's heating up, Tom. It's heating mm. up. So basically, what do we got going on? We got some, uh, we got some movement. We got some shooting. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you real quick what I did here. So this Locust uh, over here was behind these crates, just kind of skittered up the block line of sight. Um, oh, well, first and foremost, we should say... Objective four there went hot. So Tom, the other one that's squarely in your field. Thankfully, well, I got a lucky shot yeah, on say. that commando, right? So unfortunate for the commando, but fortunate yeah. for the death commandos. Different commandos. But this uh, this Griffin here, I'm keeping him within three inches. I'll cap this objective at the end of the turn, barring the uh, the, <laughs> the unforeseen. Um, and I'm going to try to make my way down towards objective four there. This enforcer moved up on the bridge. Um, fun fact, none of my mechs have jump jets, so... 
I was about to ask. <laughs> the yeah. enforcer is my lone uh, my lone wolf up there on the bridge. How does it get down from the bridge? Um, can you, you just know, like walk off? Yeah, I mean you can technically climb two levels, so I guess they could climb up the bridge if. Does I he need hand answer. actuators? Uh, he, what if he has guns for arms? How do you like? They they, they have little hands <laughs> that come out of the end of the guns. I don't know. Yeah, they have a yeah, separate really. ascension guns. They're um, magnets. Just Perfect. Like, just like so, stuck to it. <laughs> The dragon, uh, Flechette, who, who uh, received the brutal headshot earlier in the game, kind of backed up last turn, remember, hid in the woods. Now she's tearing across. So I'm hedging my bets at, at uh, two and six. Six popping up. So hopefully something pops up and I can get to it next turn because this is a game of objective points. Now, uh, what about your movement? What do, you, what do you got going on here? Oh, sure. Battlemaster staying put. He's getting that objective. Uh, my Vindicator is moving into a little bit of cover. He's going to go for two as well. Um, then the Jenner booked off. He was coming here so he could run across the three, but he's going to go for four right now, trying to yeah. get that mod move up because he's going to get toasted. Wow, we'll open, see. But we'll see. So I did lose initiative. We've been kind of going back and forth here, yeah. um, which is good. So I'm, uh, I'm going to shoot first here. Yeah. So I'm going to start with, um, with my griffin. I'm going to do a little split firing. Um, so my primary target is the Jenner. I am going to need a nine. Uh, I'm sorry, an 8 to hit the Jenner. I lied. A 9 eight. to hit the Jenner. 9. Yeah. Um, so, here we go. That is a hit. Wow. Location. What's the medium range? Uh, long. Plus 2. Did I miscalculate? Is it a 10? It's a 10. Are you sure? Yeah, 2, 4. Oh, eight. he's got a 4. 9, 10. That's a miss. I'd only told my dice. Mm, Tom, I'm sorry. keeping me honest. <laughs> Math Ninja. <laughs> you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. I think I think I miscalculated there. Um, so I think I got lucky there. Well, uh, you did. Alright, you jerk. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna shoot. that's the appropriate response. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot my uh, yourself. my LRMs across the field here as a secondary mm. target. Oh from so juicy. The Griffin into the Vindicator. Yeah, man. That's a shot. All right, now let me make sure I did my math right here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for secondary target. Okay. Nine. Yeah. So here we yeah, go. This one again. Yeah, no, nothing. I got nothing, Tom. Ah. All right, so up with the dragon, firing across the field at that Vindicator. Just tucked behind the little factory building there. Um, I need eights and nines. So I need eights on the LRM. I need nines on my AC-10. I am going to... Um, chain fire these guys. So ch -ch -ch chain fire. Ch -ch -ch chain fire. Yeah, so we, we need, need a sound effect for the chain fire. I'll work on that. Uh, I rolled a seven on the LRM, so that is a miss. Auto cannon. Mm, this is the one I don't want you to. Hit. Nine. Come on, baby. Oh, jeez, I am rolling like turds tonight. This better not be that turn. Better not be the turn where we both just roll like fours. Ah, uh, it's always horrible. Always horrible. All right, I'm just gonna roll right into the enforcer. He's my superstar. I'm going for uh, just a headshot kill here. <laughs> gonna roll, um, just gonna roll floating critical on the head and just take out the cockpit. That's what I'm calling right now. Who are you shooting at? Uh, Vindicator. Oh, really? So firing down off the bridge, AC fire, laser fire. Here it comes. I'm not happy about this. What do I need? I need sevens. This guy is pretty good. I'm gonna, he's feeling good. He's just pulling the trigger. He's just holding it down right now. So I need uh, sevens. White is the AC, red is the laser, yellow the piloting dice. Oh. Again, a six on the piloting dice. So you get both or one? Or uh, both. both of them. Oh, cool. Okay. I needed seven, so we're good to go. There you go. Um, location. Now, location. location. Here we go. Headshot, everybody. Calling it. It's not going to happen. Is it going to happen? Folks, good. is it going to happen? Post in the comments right now. We're live streaming. We're yeah. done. All right, here we go. <laughs> Facebook Live. Oh, oh close. 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 All right, so that's going to be left arm and left leg. Gross. Okay, first up for the vegans. I'm gonna fire the Battlemaster. <laughs> you love that, don't you? <laughs> the vegans. Yeah. So I need sixes. Just sixes? Just sixes. He's like two. Up on the bridge. Oh, the enforcer? Yeah, they do two, four. And he's at medium range? Long oh, range. long range, right. Six. Six, god. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna group fire. He's feeling bold, folks. Well, sixes. I don't know. I feel like I'm making a mistake, but we'll find out. So I get the PPC, but not the LRM. So that was a mistake. Let's see what would have happened. 
Didn't matter. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have mattered. All Makes right. me feel better. Okay, right. so an eight. Okay. That little left torso All action. Right, okay. Okay, last uh, but not least, my Vindicator uh, shooting up at the Enforcer. He's in medium and extreme range with his medium laser, so you need sevens and nines. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to chain fire. Chain fire. And I'll All start right. with the um, LRM. Okay. So sevens on the LRM. Gets it. Keep it coming. I mean, or just stop shooting, either okay. way, whatever you want. Another, I need a seven on the PPC. Wow, Ooh, not goodness. happening. Thank goodness. Jeez. What a mess. And then the medium laser needs a nine. So the force was getting banged mm, up. No good. All right, but still it's 20 points of damage, folks. That's going to be a piloting nice. check for sure. So this enforcer getting torn apart, holding down the center of the battlefield. Got to do something about that, Griffin. We'll be right back with the damage recap. Turn four damage report. On the 12th Vegan Rangers, not a whole lot going on this turn. That Vindicator emerging from the ruins of the city, taking a little bit of fire to its left arm and left leg. On the Capellan side, similar. Uh, not a whole lot of damage here. Uh, Dragon still with the headshot and that Enforcer holding down the central bridge, taking just a little bit more fire across the board. It's turn five, Wargamers. We're back. Mm. Movements happen. Things are getting intense. Smoke billowing from this poor city, this poor colony. Um, so, some exciting things happened, but none of them involved me winning initiative. <laughs> so, Tom, you won again. Um, again, all, all the, the mechs have been revealed. And guess what, guys? My, my patience has paid off. Uh, objective 3 went hot right next to the Enforcer. So, I'm already planning his, uh, his strategic his strategic moves here uh, a couple turns out. So let me tell you what I did. Um, because Tom is down a mech, right, we go, you know, I moved, he moved, I moved, he moved, then I had to move two, um, and then he got to move his last guy. So the first thing is this Griffin, after capping the objective that was up here, he's moving now down uh, the hill there to engage that Jenner. Um, however, when we got to the, uh, you know, sort of declarations phase, I calced my numbers, I need 12s to hit that Jenner. He's, he's two inches in the woods, He's in a woods hex. He's got a three mod. Uh, it was just ugly. But I am going to snap fire PPC at him and then fire some missiles across at this Vindicator. Um, my rest of my moves are pretty straightforward here. Um, the dragon kind of coming up to support in case something terrible happens to that enforcer. Um, the enforcer is within three inches. I moved him forward just enough to get that two mod. Um, range didn't seem to be too much of an issue. I would have rather got the mod up. So that's why I did that. Uh, and bold moves here from the Locust. So uh, my little buddy Snare, he's he tore out across the, the battlefield here from his cover. I'm actually thinking about abandoning Objective 2. Now, if you remember how this works, only five go hot. So we only have one more objective. It's either going to be six over here or two over there. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm sort of hedging my bets that it's going to be uh, six. But more importantly... I want to try to get somebody over here that's fast enough to get up the hill. I can always divert these other two guys. So that's where my head's at for movement, for shooting everybody on this left side, or at least my left flank. They're all coming in hot at that Vindicator, including the Locust, uh, who is at extreme range, but can get three medium lasers in on that Vindicator. So, Tom, master of the Rangers. Yeah. I'll shoot first, I guess. Well, what do you but tell us? Tell us what you did. Yeah, the Jenner just ran through the woods. Like Jenners do. Like Jenners Very do. Very fast. And then, um, yeah, the Vindicator just kind of stood still. Didn't really have a good place for him to go. So what was your thought there? Just <sighs> maximize to... the chance to hit. Yeah. Trying to take that Enforcer down. Yeah, I, d I didn't... I don't think I... Th I didn't think you would throw your Locust into the Gauntlet like that. Um. So... But that's fine. And then the Battlemaster is moving up. But again, didn't run him. I, I kind of forgot when I moved about capping that objective. <laughs> what, the um, one on the bridge? Yeah. Like I contesting honestly, it, you mean? Yeah, I completely forgot to because I should have had the Vindicator It's tough contested. because I, I was thinking, like, if you ran... I mean, the Vindicator's slow, right? That's the downside. No, he's, so, he's pretty you know, fast. Four he's set jump jets. Oh, he's got jump jets, yeah. yeah so he could he could have gotten... Right maybe, maybe he couldn't have gotten up, up, in the, up in the business there of that yeah. Enforcer. So I'll start with the Jenner over here. His mod is also a 12... Oh, it's an 11. Okay. So I'm going to fire up two lasers. Got it. Um, just pot shots. There's really no chance. You know what? I'm gonna yeah chain fire. A little chain fire action makes sense. Not happening. 
Definitely not happening. Although that, that was a five. I saw that five pop up. Okay. It's true. So he's done. So Still next up would repair. be uh, the Battlemaster. The mm. Battlemaster has a medium range on the LRM and the PPC, and extreme range for his one medium laser. He's just firing one of his six. <laughs> yeah, up at the enforcers. Okay, so, got it. Um, I guess I will chain fire since I can't. I can't group the sixes and the eights, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just do them one at a time. Oh, so I'll do the LRM first. So I need sixes. Get nice. it. Good shot. Just roll them all to hit first, I think. Okay. That way we can keep track. And then, oh, I can't believe I missed that. And then eights on the medium laser. Almost. Almost. Wow. Okay. So, so rolling for clusters. Two clusters. And a hit. So that is right arm and right leg taking five apiece. Okay, and last, the Vindicator is going to Alpha Strike. Alpha Strike at the Enforcer. It means sixes and sevens. All right. This is a big, this is pivotal. If I fail this, I think I'm going to lose this for sure. So I really need uh, sevens, we'll say. So, All right. Sevens go. across the board. Doesn't look like I'm going to get it. Um, I see a medium laser. I see an LRM. Yeah, so that's all. So the LRM is an LRM 10. No, it's an LRM 5 for the Vindicator. So um, I'll roll to confirm. Right, it hits us 20 points. You could knock him over. We'll draw a piloting check. That's CT and left torso, both of which are pretty banged up on that back. All right, so the Griffin is up first for the Death Commandos. Uh, I can't even see the general. Oh, there he is. There he is. I mean, well, it's the great camo paint job. Uh, so <laughs> I need a 12 on my PPC. Uh, and then he's going to just be lobbing some missiles across at that Vindicator. So here we go on the PPC. Mm. That was close. It's big, meaty numbers, that's for sure, but not enough. Uh, so on this, I need an 8 to hit. That includes the secondary target modifier. Here we go. Okay, no good. So we're gonna just keep it rolling here and I'm gonna move next to my Enforcer. He's Alpha Striking, building up three points of heat, firing down at that Vindicator, you know, through the, the pylons of the bridge, trying to hold down that critical center objective. I only need fives and sixes. So fives on the big guns, six on that medium laser. He's just gonna continue to group fire. He's had good luck with it, this guy, Phantom. His name will be Legend. Here we go. Looking for fives and sixes. Okay, so I miss with the large laser. Get that media AC-10, though, and a medium laser in at that Vindicator. Here we go. Looking for location. All right, so center torso doubling down takes 15 points of damage. All right, Flechette is up in her dragon, aided here by these Death Commandos, uh, taking uh, their lead, firing also at that Vindicator, trying to expunge him from this battle grid. So she needs sevens to hit. I'm gonna group fire, AC-10, LRM-5, here we go. So both hit, excellent. Rolling for clusters, get it. All right, so that's another 15 points coming in that Vindicator. He's already taken 15, so he's gonna have 30 points on him. That's a piloting check. Retribution, look at mm. that. That's a critical hit onto the head. Uh, internal damage, and then roll five this. more. I do, I do. I'm gonna use my special Capellan dice here. They're not really special, they're just green and black. <laughs> All right, so do we get a critical hit? Nine. That is, that is, that is one critical hit, Tom. So, if I get a three, could have some sweet oh, yeah. salvage. Here we go. A two. Oh. So that is just a sensor. Critical hit. Sensors. How you feel? I feel pretty good. Uh, I feel like, you know, you hit me in the head, I hit you in the head. It's the way the world works. <laughs> All right, so we are back with Snare in his Locust. Um, it's a little guy on the field, but listen, his, his other mech, his other mech's cool. His other mech's an Atlas, so deal with it. <laughs> so my he, other car is My Atlas. other car is an Atlas. So he, uh, he's got three medium lasers on this bugger, uh, and he needs only sevens to hit here, um, so I'm gonna chain fire them. Because what I wanna try to do is play my odds, get another 10 points to bump that piloting check up to a minus two, or a plus two, I guess. All right, so here we go. Looking for sevens. That's one hit. Ah, it's gonna come down to this. 
Got it. All right, so two medium lasers hit, so it's going to be a minus plus two. I always get that backwards. Plus two on the piloting. Okay, so uh, rolling for location, because I chain fired, I do need to roll them separately. So here we go. Uh, so right, uh, I'm sorry, left arm and left leg. Turn five damage report on the ranger's side. Tower in his Vindicator getting primed up by the Capellan Lance. Retributive headshot blowing into the cockpit, just barely missing the pilot, instead knocking out the sensors. Left arm critical, left leg critical, two actuators knocked out. Jump capability impeded. This mech's not in great shape. On the Capellan side, things are looking a little bit better. The Enforcer walking through fire, getting primed up, by those rangers. Uh, they did manage to penetrate through the left torso, but luckily no critical hits there. The rest of the armor looking a little banged up and dented, up to three points of heat. It's turn six. So the game's moving along at a pretty good clip here. Uh, things are happening. So we rolled for the final objective, and I got lucky. Lucky, lucky. And I rolled it. So there's Tom no rolled it. Again. Tom rolled it. No, no weighted is. dice here. So. Um, this enforcer just absolutely battered uh, from the from the last just round of shooting, sort of retreating back there. Got some some other action happening here in the middle. So I uh, I won the initiative this time, which was which was useful. So Tom, what do you got going on over there? Yeah, so I ran my Jenner around getting your back arc and also to kick you in the butt. So I'm going Delicious. to do both of those things. Um, the Battlemaster moved up in the hopeful event that I kill your guy, but I think regardless, does, does the capping transfer if it's a different mech? Uh, so like yes. if I say I killed him, you would still get it. So exactly, no it's per team, so because, yeah. Tom, yes, I cleverly positioned my dragon uh, at the bottom of the pylon there, so okay. even if the it's enforcer... Clever. So clever, Tom, it's extremely clever, give me some... <laughs> so... The, uh, yeah, the, the Dragon and Force are holding that down. So even if uh, if Phantom meets his fate, yeah. Lachette will be there to capitalize on that objective. Yeah, so, <clears throat> and then, want to start some shooting? Yeah, oh, well, you um, want to talk about your movement? Yeah, yeah, let me, I'll just give, give, some, give some flavor over here. So the Griffin was my first move. I ran him down the hill. He is in contesting uh, range. However, as Tom noted, he did outmaneuver. But I would like to let you know that I'm torso twisting and I'm just going to fist you right in the face. <laughs> you can't fist while you're torso twisting. You can. It's no, true. No, it's a true can sword, right? Poke. Pretty sure you can, can only eye poke. poke. Oh, you can only eye poke? You need finger actuators. Is there a table for that? Pretty like, sure. It's like which finger and then like do you hit the nose or... This is my finger actuator damaged. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's in the advanced rule set, guys. That's coming out um, yeah. with the Kickstarter finger actuators. Yeah. Uh, so, what else? So Section entire this. supplement book. This. Just on foot and hand D digital actual <laughs> Digital actuators. So my Locust uh, ran under the bridge, uh, convenient uh, that he is so small, and is getting uh, right up in there uh, for Objective 6. I did expose my rear, uh, however, I feel pretty good about cover from the bridge and so on and so forth at high mod, so hopefully Tom doesn't pop him in the back. But, shoot it. What do you have? So yeah, so the Jenner got into his rear arc. He's in short, you know, the shortest of shortest ranges. Uh, he needs eights to hit still. Okay, eights to hit. He ran... You have a three, I think. I got a three. Right? Yeah. That's a three. He's fast. Okay, the Griffin so is fast. Five plus three. That's an eight base. So there you go. Um, what do you think for a medium? Should I chain or group? Well, you know me. If it's over, it's over seven, I chain. That's just me. It's a big moment, Tom. I know. I just want to... I just got to do it. I'm going to do them all. He's it's going cool. for it, folks. Go for the eight. And it looks like you get two of them. No, just one. Just one. Eh. Not that good. Okay. What would I have gotten on this thing? Ah, same. Okay. So one laser to the butt. A seven. Seven so, or so. Uh, I think that Griffin does have some decent armor there, but we will check that out. Okay, next up, the Vindicator will be firing at the Enforcer, trying to finally get like a hit on this guy. Just so, yeah, just anything. Yeah, he's on medium with his LRM 5 and his PPC, and then extreme with the one medium laser on the fire. All right. So starting with the PPC, need an eight, not even close. 
I need an eight. This is a bad one. I need a ten on this. All right. Not, Not even close. Okay. So pretty... sensor and actuator hits piling up on this yeah. Vindicator. Okay, and then the Battlemaster is firing up and across at the little guy because that objective three is it in the middle? Four? That one's a gonger, so I'm going to try to stop him at least to slow him down from capping that last objective. Um, so that is at long range for the PPC and the LRM, so I need nines. All right, so I'm going to fire one at a time. Um, one on the dice for some good luck. on his rear arc. So close, but yet so far. Unreal. Not even close. Well, okay. All right. Wasted turn. Well, moving over to the Capellans, things are starting to fall into their hands here. The Rangers hard pressed as the objectives fell, not quite in their favor. All right, so here we are. The Capellans are back, starting off with this Enforcer. He's actually firing down at Nightwolf, the commander, the CO of these 12th Vegan Rangers. Uh, I'm going to need sixes to hit. This enforcer has been very reliable. Can it continue? <laughs> it cannot. All right, so a total whiff. Obviously, Nightwolf, very intimidating, coming across the battlefield here. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna come around to the um, the Griffin. So the Griffin over here really has no good line of sight to that Jenner unless I twist and use the PPC on my arm, but I'd be well within minimum range would be too high to hit, so instead, also firing across at that Battlemaster, I need nines across the board on the LRM and the PPC, so I'm gonna chain fire here, here we go. Uh, that's a miss. Then the LRM five, that is a miss. This, uh, this heavy rain and fog providing uh, just a lot of natural cover here. So, that is that um, for those two mechs. Now the dragon here tucked in has no line of sight to the Battlemaster, but is blasting across at that Jenner, trying to peel him off that Griffin. But as we know, those jr 7 fs are tough. So, gonna need a nine and a 10. Nine on the LRM, 10 on the AC. Here we go. Miss. Oh, that's a hit. All I need is a headshot, folks. But it is a floating critical instead, Tom. Wow, there you go. All right, so can I get an engine hit, a gyro hit? What, what can I get here? So I need to roll location first. That is left, left torso. torso. Yep. All right, so the, you know, the way we do that is, again, with the floating critical rule, you re-roll to determine the location. If you roll two again, you just go to the normal hit chart, which is um, the left torso. So There's only two that doesn't matter. What's that? Two jump jets. Two jump jets in there? Well, let me see if I can confirm first. No. I do not. So no critical hits, but it is 10 points of damage to that left torso. Probably not enough to puncture the Jenner. Okay, and a little physical action going to happen. I'm going to kick him from behind. That's rude. It's so rude. It's so rude. I'm going to step on his shoe, basically. Oh, my God. So uh, to kick, I need a seven. Uh, so we'll roll for that. All right, here it comes. That is a that is square in the rectum. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be 1d6 for location. All right, so a five. That is, you're in the rear, so that's a left leg shot. Four to six. So left leg taking seven Just points of damage. It's not what I want. All right, so attacking back with a punch. So keep in mind, a torso twisted, fired the PPC. That's the other arm is free. So punching with that left arm, I'm going to need an eight to hit you. Here we go. I get it. Location. This is a D6 now. Uh, what's the head? A six is a head. Here we go. A one. So a one is just, for whatever reason, the left arm. So you're going to take six points of damage to the left arm. Turn six damage report on the ranger side. Not a whole lot has changed, thankfully, for that Vindicator. The Jenner getting in a little bit of a scrap with the Griffin, up to four points of heat, damage on the left arm and the left torso, otherwise doing okay. On the Capellan side, it's a similar story. The Griffin getting kicked by that Jenner, shot in the back, 
Otherwise, though, armor is holding steady, and then Enforcer still tanking that center bridge. A lot of action this turn, just not a whole lot of damage. Turn 7. Looks like the Rangers might be pulling back. Uh, the Capellans, one initiative yet again. Yeah, you did. So... Um, I can tell you what I did real quick, even though, you know, again, we alternate moving, but just an expediency. So the, um, the objective in the center was capped. So that's points for the Capellans that Enforcer now withdrawing from the bridge. Uh, the Locust came up and around, uh, here still, uh, trying to hold down objective six. That's looking pretty good. Flechette and her dragon running across the battlefield uh, and then Whirlwind in his Griffin bounding down the hill. Um, still basically trying to, trying to get in a dance of death with that Jenner, um, but... Too fast. Jenner's too fast. Jenner outmaneuvered me, got through the woods, and now I have no line of sight. So, uh, what do we got on your side, Tom? Yeah, so we're withdrawing. It's There's no way. Yes, it was an unwinnable situation once you cap that and, you know... Once six turned up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just going to retreat because that Vindicator screwed up and I've already lost the mech. So we're going to do, you know, we're going to take some pot shots on our way out. Yeah, that makes sense. We're going to just try to get out. So that's all we're doing. We're just retreating. So this could be the last round, folks. We'll see what, what shooting brings. I'm going to try to prevent that Jenner from escaping if I can it's, run it down. But it you seems... Can't. <laughs> you can't. Don't bother. You can't. You're dead. You're, uh, <laughs> you're dead, brother. <laughs> um, who wants to start shooting? You want I'm, the honors? Yeah, right. sure. Where are we, where are we so, taking off here? Um, Battlemaster will go first. Good old Nightwolf. How we need a we need a wolf uh <laughs> well, I mean, facts track. How you got the shirt yeah. going on, so I do, man. Uh, okay, so Badmaster's shooting off at the enforcer who is just like slippery as Neil. Uh long range, needs nines. I will shoot the weapons individually. Okay. Nine on the PPC. Nine on the LRM. There got you it. Go. Okay. LRM ten. It's the Battlemaster, so it's an LRM ten. Help! Look at all those sixes. But splash, 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 splash. All right, so left torso and right arm. Okay, the Vindicator's last, uh, also shooting at the Enforcer. He needs nines because of his sensors hit for a medium, uh, or for a long range shot. Ugh. I'm gonna individually do them. Gets Nailed it. Oh man, what the sensor damage at all. Dear Lord. Senator, so it's, uh, uh, eight, yeah, actually, so that's left torso. Uh, I'll get through that left torso. That may actually blow it off and put that mech into forced withdrawal. Sweet retribution is a vindicator. Just turns tail. Vindicator's not done. No. So LRM five. Again, needs nines. We can hope. All right, here we are with the dragon firing under the bridge at Nightwolf in his Battlemaster. I need eights and nines. Uh, so eight on the LRM, nine on the AC-10. Here we go. Oh, some ugly shooting, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I um, find that PPC shot. Just nothing doing there. So the, um, the Griffin just firing an LRM uh, across also at the Battlemaster. Yeah, so uh, can't see the can't see the Jenner, right? Uh, more than three inches, or for you map players, three hexes of woods. Got huh? nothing. Oh, nothing. Yeah. nothing again. All right, last but not least, old reliable. Guess who he's going for? His narch nemesis, the Vindicator. Mm. Um, so this was we'll pre-declared. It's legitimate. Right. This is the last shot with the large laser. I gotta get him back to the uh, the old mech hanger and get him get him yeah. fixed up. So it'll be the right arc, right? Uh, into the enforcer, I believe he's in the front. We can check that in just okay. a moment. But I need sixes. Here we go. Close. Wow! Just got them both. Uh, what luck! I mean, he's under so much fire, so much duress right now. Do you want to uh, grab the old, grab the the big red one there? It'll be a little easier to see on the camera. Sure. Uh, and then what we can do is we can line up and see if uh where we're at here so just on this guy's base there where does that enforcer fall so it looks like he's he is in fact in that 
Um, right arc. That right arc, yeah. So good eye, Tom. Whew. Well, we'll see. Here we go. Might not matter. Another floating critical. Wow. And a five, which is on the right arc, uh, it is right arm. arm. Oh, yeah, right arm. Good. And how much is that on the right arm? Uh, so it's going to be 10 points of damage. Uh, 10 points of damage on the right arm. Yep. I still need to roll the floating critical, though. Uh, right arm again. Wow, okay. So eight more damage to the right arm. So that's a... Okay. That's internal? Yeah. So that's, that's one critical automatically, plus the floating critical. Can I get lucky? I cannot. So just uh, just one critical. I might as well roll it since we're here. It's two crits. We'll figure those oh. out off camera and come back in the damage recap. Turn seven damage report on the ranger's side. Things are mostly status quo. The Vindicator continuing to get pummeled as it retreats back into the ruins of the city. Right arm now damaged, upper and lower arm actuators destroyed. And again, that's looking at movement penalties, gunnery penalties, jump jets damaged, that mech not in great shape. On the Capellan side though, a final and telling blow from that Vindicator's PPC, despite the sensor damage, ripping off the left torso, destroying two weapons, and putting that Enforcer into forced withdrawal. However, the Enforcer did its job capping the center bridge, and the rest of the Lance well positioned to succeed. We are just outside of the Turbashi range on Jopa 4, Critical Moon, where the mysterious Chickahawk has been downed. The first conflict is complete. The 12th Began Rangers sensing uh, that they can't pull this one out, and so they are withdrawing. The Capellans have claimed victory. But is just one battle in this campaign. How will the rest of it pan out? You gotta stay tuned to find out. After Action Report is coming right up, so guys, hang around. In the meantime, we'll break down this fight in just a minute. So, mission one, campaign three, in the bag. So the Capellans managed to pull this one out um, after those Ranger dropships came thundering down onto Jopa 4. Mm. Uh, the mysterious Death Company shows up and literally saves the day. Uh, yeah. That enforcer then... shot on the commando, I oh. think, won me the game hands down because that was a backfield objective for you. That was a point for you in the bag. Yeah. Uh, that I prevented you from getting. Yeah, and the Jenner was going for that center objective. That's where I had him set up it, for it. Would have been, it would have been a totally, totally different game. Um, yeah. So I got a lucky shot. I got the ammo critical. Well, I rolled a 12 on the confirmation, so it just cleared yeah. all, the, all the crits out of that side tour. So, um, yeah, the Vindicator got <sighs> kneecapped, so that, that hurt that whole, that whole effect. Yeah. But, uh, it was good, though. It was a good game. I thought it was a good game. Um, you played aggressively. I played aggressively. I felt like it was a lot closer um, than it was. Um, you know, I, I mean, so at the, at the end, you know, I ended up with four objectives with the withdrawal. You had the one, but I really, for some reason, I was, I felt like you had capped more than that because you were so close on that backfield one, right? Like, yeah, with the Jenner, uh -huh. you just, you got down to it faster than I expected. <sighs> and I Griffin. Yeah, and I tried, you know, I, I took shots, but even in the back, I like hit what, one medium laser, I think, and I know, yeah. that just wasn't enough to, to do to, it. To neutralize it. Yeah, yeah and you know, um, uh, the, the other big thing was, uh, was that Locust, um, just speedy around, I was able to get him back to objective six, and I think, you know, that, that helped sort of secure the, the thing for me. I didn't have to pull any of the other heavy yeah. ones back. I only, um, and I only had one fast mech left that was already doing duties. So. Right. Right, uh, but it was a good fight. I liked uh, the variants that I had. I mean, as you guys know, I mean, I love my AC-10s. 
I love PPCs whenever I can get them. Um, and those LRMs are always key. Just getting that early fire down on targets, being able to cross the battlefield, um, you know, with some with some supporting fire, always key. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought it was good good game, good yeah. game, sir. So yeah, I like AC weapons. Um, I think better than PPCs, maybe. The only thing is they have ammo, and that's always the downside. Yeah, always the downside. But, but the, the heat, heat that's the, the huge thing. PPCs is is brutal. Right? Yeah, it's like you, you kind of get when you're trying to alpha strike stuff, you, you start hitting heat caps on, on almost any mech, even the Battlemaster, I had to like not shoot all the medium lasers. It has so many of them. It does, you know, which yeah. is super, I yeah. guess, you know, whatever, yeah. I guess you get into, into um, minimum range with both the LRM and the PPC, so. You just switch over, yeah. right? Yeah, and so I that's saw really that. what it's for, but that, that's like such a weird way to spend a whole bunch of, you know, battle value and tonnage to like say. Just so lots of medium lasers? That, I'll only ever opt to use in a very specific, like, close range thing. Right. But I guess, it, yeah, maybe I should have played it more aggressively and gotten like, up in your face. Yeah, I, I about mean, it. his jump jets, right? So The Battlemaster does not. Um, the, you're thinking of the, the uh, Vindicator. Vindicator does. Does. Okay, right. so I retract. Got a Battlemaster but, with jump jets, it'd be terrifying. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I still, you know, we talked uh, beforehand about the three mediums and a, a light versus the heavy, medium, light, light, I think. Right. So I had. Uh, we did the assault actually assault, assault. and uh, a medium and two lights, right? Yeah, a medium and two lights. I think so. Yeah, it's not a bad. You know, the the thing you always go with the assault, but I think works good for this um, campaign type is that the speed differences right. are like, huge. Um, but it doesn't when when the um, when the objectives are spread out along the map, you can kind of target that. But it makes it like I said that that led me to leave the battle master back, which. And then he was out. Then he was too far away from the middle objective, and it's just like you know. I was ah, thinking about it right it around good. turn five or six when the battle master. I guess it was six when he started pushing in on the enforcer right before you pull. Like you made that push in, and it made me realize at that point that um, the whole reason he was back most of the game was because you you know we rolled up that objective, and at first I was like ah yeah. that sucks because it's right in your backfield, but at the same time it forced you to keep the battle master a little yeah, further out of the fight. So it's interesting how the how the dice fall, but that is like the mission. Turn four that I or turn turn four M five that I just whiffed every shot. Oh, it hurts. I hate to lose a game that way. You I know, hear you. You did I, too. So I feel for you. Just, no, I mean you you had a a, a, a cooler three. hand than I did. I mean it's just just lots of misses you across you the board. Fire, you got to fire a little bit. That's well, you good. you started out with that headshot. I know, man. I couldn't. I was like, oh on. god. And then I got it back. Knocked out the sensors. That was, was blow good. for blow. It was fun. It was a flavorful fight. Yeah. Um, I like so this map too. I wish. Yeah, I, I it wish. It was cool, right? Yeah, I wish terrain <laughs> wasn't so prohibiting, like so prohibitively slow for Max because it's it seems like it'd be fun to be like running up and down hills, but like that doesn't happen in BattleTech. I mean, in the comments, feel free to disagree with me, but I feel like almost no Max because you know you take you, you have to be doing these reckless moves to run around, you know. Right, yeah, and, and it's just, it's just, there's a lot of difficulties to use. Right, and you, if you're going uphill, you, right, I mean, and we house rule reckless downhill. There's, there's just like an make optional it. rule in tactical ops that is sort of similar to it, but we just call it reckless movement. Um, yeah, because why shouldn't uphill, you be able to? Right, and, and up, uphill you can't, right? You're just like stuck at half your speed, right? Yeah, and it's same like thing. World War One like, style, trench yeah. War, you know? <laughs> it's like, Really? They haven't figured out a bet, like, next uh, can't the jump up. jets, right? That's the yeah. jump jets. I guess that that's what they're for. But even yeah. still, you're really not moving that fast, right? Because, yeah. you know, jump yeah, jets are, like... I'm just not using jump jets, right? Enough. Yeah, yeah, enough and correctly, yeah. Oh, well, you know, we'll see. I thought you did well. I'll have to think about um, it. I thought you had the right position. I thought you got screwed on the commando. And I thought you got screwed on the, you know, when that six came up instead of the two. Yeah. Um, but the dice fell in my favor this time. Yeah. Will it happen next time? There. Yeah, it the Griffin good. was great. Yeah. Was I mean, so I'll Again, hi we high like five myself on the deployment for the yeah. Griffin. Um, that was intentional. You know, I wanted him up there with the long range fire and the, the you know, just the commanding line of sight um, and the, then the speed, really. Yeah. And I just kind of stuck the other three, you know, intentionally on the other side of the map. Just, but, yeah. So we'll see. But this is only round one. This is only round one. Episode one. Right. I was, uh, I was defending technically, right, on this, this particular mission, um, because you may plan and fall after me. So as the defender now, um, the tide tables have turned, right, I become the sort of the attacker in the next mission, but on the defense track, I get to pick the next mission, um, so I will let you know. I will mm. let you know, Tom. Well, Nightwolf came through unscathed. 
pretty sure. He, he did. Good shoot. news. <laughs> Good news. Your cat character is still alive. <laughs> Uh, Despite but hey. my best efforts, <laughs> that survived. Uh, so, guys, thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this, uh, this the, the excess banter and our campaign battle report. Um, What's so, the campaign for if not for banter? Fair point. Fair point. So, next time, mission two, stay tuned. Hopefully next week, you know, with the holidays, you never know. Um, but we're going to try to get some stuff in. We may even have some new players uh, showing up. Ooh. to join us. We had, a, we had a couple of our buddies over at PAX who were playing with them, so they may they may cycle in here and oh, there for yeah, a Oh yeah, I think we, we enticed some people yeah, with so our we'll demo see. gameplay. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. So, uh, stay tuned for all that, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Uh, it helps us out a lot. Um, always leave a comment. I love reading through the comments, um, so don't forget to do that as well. And uh, that's about it. Yeah. Check out our website dfawargaming.com. You can download the campaign rules. You can download uh, some of the mechs from our prior campaigns, the record sheets, the custom ones that we made, and also the, the mission rules. And then, of course, if you haven't heard, battlelytics.com is live. Uh, Tom and I have been busy at work. We've got all the Wave 1 clan and Inner Sphere mechs from the Kickstarter. We've got a good portion of the Game of Armor Combat mechs loaded up. Uh, more of those forthcoming. Almost all of them. Yeah. I think there's just a couple like, couple outliers, but you're right. The majority of them are there. So some real good data there to help you guys figure out, you know, what variants to run and things like that. Some really neat stuff. So And as a tie-in <laughs> to the campaign for the synergy, uh, we're doing all the custom variants from this campaign as well. So as oh, the true. episodes go live, yes. we'll put the variants on the Battlelytics so you can compare them to other mechs and you can kind of see what the optimizations might have yeah. done for them compared to their stock variants and you know you can see just see how, how badly better. i underperform based <laughs> from the math right from the problem that'll be the next thing we need to hire some dude to just track Sit like with there. an abacus how much yeah. damage we've done yeah and then he can like overdub the <laughs> like and so you can see here where tom woefully under <laughs> like did woefully damage under compared to the to the model yeah that uh, great. that's just what i need more pressure i'll work on that's that great. i'll work on that well, guys, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more. As you know, tons of content coming at you from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night. See you guys. Hoo!